hello guys welcome to the channel in this video i am looking at graph rag from yet another angle in this video i am going to show you how we can integrate graph rag with grok provided models so for that you would need a grok cloud api key and i will show you from where you can get it plus for embedding either you can use olama you can use lm studio you can use a lot of other things but i will be using open ai's embedding model because i don't see any embedding model on the grok cloud but main focus is to show you how you can use grok's api key with graph rag if you don't know what graph rag is in the previous few days i have done heaps of videos on graph rag so go to my channel and then just search with graph rag and you should be able to find heaps of videos around graph rag with olama and then how you can install it from scratch and then couple of months ago even four months ago i did a video on graph rag when it was very very new and it was all theory so before i move forward can i please request you guys to subscribe to the channel and share it among your network as it helps a lot because all of these videos which i'm pumping out these require time effort money and i would highly appreciate if you could support the channel by sharing it thank you very much also, I want to give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now, before I start this video, I would um, encourage you to go to platform.openai.com and grab your API key from there. Of course, it's a paid option. So if you don't have an account with OpenAI, just drop in five US dollars and you should be able to get your API key. If you don't want to spend that, I would suggest that you go and watch my this graph rack with Olama video and then for embedding model and I will show you later where you can put it, use Olama instead of OpenAI. But as this video is focused on Grok, so you would have to go to grok.com, G-R-O-Q.com, and I will drop the link in video description. And then on the left hand side, click on API key and then grab your free API key. One thing with this Grok is that it throttles a lot. I think you just, you would need to have your limit of 5,000 tokens per day, something like that. So I will be implementing some of the throttling parameters in order to control it. One word of caution because of this throttling for the free API stuff, you might have to rerun it because for some time it works for me, sometime I have to rerun it. So be patient and then do it accordingly. Okay, so that's said and done. Let's go back to the graph rag. So in my other videos, I have gone into way more detail as what graph, graph rag is, its architecture. At a very simple level, what graph rag does is it provides us a new way of doing ragging. When we say ragging or rag, rag means retrieval augmented generation. What it does is it enables you to provide your own custom data to LLM so that whenever a user asks a query from LLM from in the context of your own data, it has all the context from your own data and then it gets augmented with the user's prompt and given to LLM. So LLM not only uses its own training data, but also your own data to give more comprehensive tailored answer to the user. What Microsoft has done here is they have introduced graph. So graph theory is where we have nodes and these nodes are connected with each other with the relations. So instead of just putting in the data and your own data into the graph database or rag database, which is vector store, they store not only your entities in your data plus the relationship between those entities and then all of this information gets stored in this graph rack and then whenever user asks a query about your own data then llm not only gets the entities from your data but also the relationship between them it has more grounded context of your data due to this graph rack so that is all it is about okay enough theory let's go to local system and i am supposing you already have both of the api keys this is my local Ubuntu server where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I am using NVIDIA's RTX A6000 GPU card with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are just using API based, you don't need that much VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment. 
and in this one i'm just calling it graph rock with python 3.11 and activating it shouldn't take too long and you can see in the parentheses on the left that it is set let me clear the screen next up export your both uh, keys like open underscore api key and grok underscore api underscore key okay so let me set these keys and clear the screen so i have set my keys now let's install graph rack by simply doing pip install graph rack and it is going to install it on your local system let's wait for it to finish okay all the prerequisites are done graph rack is installed let me clear the screen next up let's create a directory where we will be putting our own data so in this video what i'm going to do i'm just going to create a simple text file and i'll show you which is this wahad.txt it contains my personal information and who i am where i live and all that stuff because obviously these models don't know about me so i will be using this file to provide more context to llm about myself so this file just contains about my information and that is what i'm going to put in that input folder in that graph text uh, rag test folder so let me cp it or copy it and that is done let's clear the screen okay now next up we need to initialize this graph rack and that is the command to do it so when we run this command this is going to create a settings file in this rack test directory which we have just created and then it is going to initialize it so let's wait for it it takes a bit of a time to initialize first time and that is done cool so if i take you to that rag test directory and show you there you will see there are two files of interest there is dot env file and there is a settings file so let me first show you the dot env file let me open it in, into the details now when you open this dot env file you will see that there is one key there which is graph underscore api underscore key so what you need to do you need to just remove this and then you need to put your grok api key here so this is important make sure you put your grok api key here then press enter and then open this line and put your open ai key here and then save the file and exit so let me paste my keys here and then exit from here so i have saved my dot env file after setting up the keys let me clear the screen and now let's move on to settings.yaml in the same directory let's open it now in this one let me go to the top first so all we need to do is to change here this model and then few other parameters and i will show you shortly and there is one more thing we need to change where i instead of graph rag api key for embedding i'm just going to go with open ai's api key here so let me make the changes and then show you and then i will explain what those changes mean and don't worry about these files and commands i'm going to put all of these commands plus files in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description okay so this is a change file so look at here so the first change you need to make is specify this model so this model is from grok cloud and you can just go to their website and grab the model ids don't use llama due to its context size because i think llama's context size is around 8k and this graph rack needs at least 32k context so and mixtrol has a 32k so that is that is why i'm going with it uh, i don't want to uh, use a json with it and so i've set it to false and this is the api base now the good thing about grok cloud is that it is open ai compatible so that is why we have this completion api base url and then these are the max tokens so this is a context length of the model that this is how many token it needs to predict the it uses to predict the next token now this is where i am just throttling it to make sure that it doesn't just break out if you don't specify it it is going to fail okay so and then these are the few the try so that is why it is going to take around five to ten minutes even for a small file okay so that is done and now you see that when it comes to embeddings i have grabbed my open api key variable because that is 
because we are using this text embedding model from OpenAI and that is the OpenAI's API base which I'm using make sure you specify it otherwise it is going to use that Grox API base and don't worry I'm going to put all of this in my uh, blog and you will get the link now if instead of this you don't want to use OpenAI as I mentioned earlier you can go with the Olama LM Studio and there are various other options I have already done the video so please search the channel okay so that is done let me save the file and exit from here so file is saved let me clear the screen and let's go one directory back and all the settings are done now let's run this command so that is this is going to work on my input file and then it is going to do the ragging on it so let me run it so let's wait for it to finish and you see that this is where it is going to take bit of a time because right now it is using grox api and throttling is happening retries are happening that is why it is going to take bit of a time and it is almost there it has done all of this step and you see it has just gone into my file grabbed everything from there and you can ignore these warnings so this is all the stuff it has done and then it has created my all the information about me these are the entities it found and then it is creating the community report so let's wait for it and everything is done now as you can see everything is loaded all the entities and their relationships are done and then it has completed everything successfully let me clear the screen now let's try to use the local and global and if you don't know what local and global is with graph rag please watch my other videos i have explained it in great detail so here i'm using this graph rag dot query and i'm using that folder where we have everything input output and all the stuff and then for firstly i'm using global method to do the dragging which also gets information from across the globe and then i'm asking it who is Fahad Mirza so let me run it there you go so it has gone in and you can see that it has used my query global method it has used this grox method it has used mixed all model and has returned me the response at who is Fahad Mirza okay I'm a prominent figure now so that makes me feel good and then all that stuff is there about uh, myself okay so now let me clear the screen and now let's try out the local method so this is the local method where it is using the local files where we have our information and I'm asking it who is Fahad Mirza and where does he live so let me run it And there you go so it has produced the data here if i go up here you see that it is reading that reading the data from there again it has uses used croc it has used mixed role and then all that stuff about what it did and then success local search responses that again popular youtuber and then my second question where he lives he lives in sydney and then it has given us the data sources too it's the same file where it did obtained from it and then it just uh, says the community revolves around Fahad Mirza includes AI and all that stuff. And then it has talked about all the relationships and entities it found within the data. And here you go. It even gave the summary about me. So this is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Graph Frag is amazing. Really like it. And as I said earlier, if you are interested in knowing more about Graph Frag, this is your own channel go search graph rag and you should be able to find various things about a graph rag and some people have asked how they can support the channel so for that and first thank you for specifying that all you can do is that you can just go to the home page of the channel then you can either buy me a coffee or you could become a patron up to you so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it really uh, i think i am much shoved about this graph rag really amazing product if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network thanks for watching and support